there, welcome to, welcome back to No Pants Profits. Today we're going to talk about what's called a back-to-back, -back, which is what I'm doing. It is the last day, well the morning of the last day, about 8.37 a.m. Uh, on the last day, the day everybody's getting off of the cruise ship I'm on out of Seattle. The, the, the cruise doesn't really matter, I just want to show you the process. I am on the Carnival Luminosa, but the process is going to be the same for a Carnival ship, for a Norwegian ship, for all those other ships like that. We are sailing out of the port of Seattle, and you'll see I'm on my balcony. They're packing up stuff for the next cruise, and all the passengers are leaving. Oh look, what is that? Oh my god. That looks kind of dangerous. They're just hoisting it onto the deck. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, all the passengers are leaving, but I'm staying on board and doing something that is called a back-to-back. -back. So what's a back-to-back? -back? Well, a back-to-back -back is exactly what it sounds like. It's when you go from one cruise directly to the next one on the same ship generally, but sometimes you can move across ships and it's called back-to-back. -back. So you get this letter in your cabin that will say back-to-back. -back. We'll talk about the different options that are in this letter and then we'll go through them. Dear guest, again, it's carnival. It doesn't have to be carnival. It could be anyone. It could be celebrity. It could be. We're delighted you're sailing with us for back-to-back -back voyages. Get ready because you're in for double the fun. Which, in a moment of your time to tell you, and close this letter, you will find an in-transit pass. Let me show you that. So this in-transit pass right here is so that I can go out if I wanted to go out in Seattle. The problem is we're at a place called Pier 91. That's kind of in the middle of nowhere, and I'd have to take a taxi, like a thirty-dollar taxi to get to Seattle, $30 taxi back, plus, I mean, it's still in Seattle, it's just on the outskirts of town, plus when it really comes down to it, at the end of the day, I got two days before the cruise in Seattle, two days after the cruise in Seattle, I don't need any more time in Seattle. But, there's a transit pass in there that lets us move through the terminal. Now, here's the cool thing. If you are going to go out in Seattle, you will technically be entering the United States, so you have to go through immigration. Standard, understood. But here's where this is different than a back-to-back -back in Miami ports. You do not, keyword again, do not have to get off the ship and go through customs if you just want to hang out and stay on the ship. Now, that's what I want to do because I'm going to get some really cool videos and photos of an empty ship in 360 degrees, which is really rare. Uh, you just have to go to the nightclub. Now, well, we're going to go to the nightclub together, complete the back-to-back -back process. Also, really weird, I guess this is just a carnival thing, uh, there's a beverage opportunity in uh, six minutes. Uh, I don't really know who wants a beverage opportunity at 8.45 in the morning, but we shall see. Um, so if you're in the same room, you ain't even got to pack. I didn't pack. I'm staying in the same room for two weeks. Now, I do have some friends joining me on board this week, but uh, they're not on yet. I told them I'd take a cool picture of them from my balcony when they're coming on the ship, because that's like a picture you can never get. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, let's just go. Let's see what the process is. I'm doing this for the first time with Carnival. And like I said, they don't have to wait for everyone to get off the ship. Supposedly, I'm just going to get my new room key. I was just packing this up. Supposedly, I'm just going to get my new room key. Whoop. And when I get my new room key, I am good for the next cruise. So let's go to the nightclub. Again, they'll do this somewhere different every, on every uh, ship. Let's go to the nightclub and get this process rolling. Now, you will notice as we're going down the hallway, every cabin other than mine, is open and they're cleaning it. You have to be out of your cabin by 8.30 in the morning on the day everyone gets off the boat. So everybody's just kind of waiting around the public areas now. But uh, yeah, every single room here is empty. And they're cleaning it and they're cleaning it. Maybe someone left some fun valuables behind getting it set up for the next cruise. Uh, there is nobody here anymore. I'll let you know when we get there how many People are going back to back. I will tell you, this back to back is kind of unique in nature, coming to Alaska, coming out of Alaska, because you're going to do the same cruise all over again. Don't worry, there's more than enough to do in all the ports that you can do different stuff. Last week, if you watched the videos last week, I showed you the stuff to do if this is your second or third time to Alaska. This week coming up, we're going to do what you do when it's your first week in Alaska. Wow, look at that. It's a much nicer room than my room. I guess this is what Carnival considers to be a suite. Cool. Oh, look. Much, 
much nicer cabins than my cabins. We should figure out where the actual suites are. I'm breaking into them. And be bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. So, uh, what was I going? Um, so, you know, when you usually do this, you're down in the Caribbean, and there's an Eastern Caribbean and a Western Caribbean run. So you kind of make a 14-day cruise of it. But now, I'm just doing the same, same seven days again. Juno, Skagway. Hopefully, uh, we're going to make it to Tracy Arm this time. We did not make it to Tracy Arm last week. Um, Ketchikan and Victoria, but with uh, more baggage this time. I am bringing a friend. So we're going to go see the back-to-back -to -back process together, and we've got about four minutes till that beverage opportunity, which if you watch this channel, even at 8.45, well, I was in a distillery at 8.45 in the morning uh, two days ago, so uh, I shouldn't really judge. Uh, even at 8.45 in the morning, I am totally down for a beverage opportunity. See you there. So the back-to-back -back meeting point that they're going to have is actually right past the piano hallway. Uh, I call this the piano hallway because there's no actual piano bar. It's just a hallway. Uh, and the back-to-back -back meeting is going to be in the Altar nightclub. You see it says B2B guest, back-to-back -back guest meeting point. I am a back-to-back -back guest. Okay. Oh, look. We got cake and cake and cookies and all that fun right here. Oh, look at that. We got some milk, hot water. What is that? Champagne with yeah. white wine? Yeah, champagne with the back wine. Okay, I will take my back to back champagne. And there's about, uh, so far, there's about eight of us here. Uh, I don't know what this process is going to entail, but. Uh, we shall see. We're in the nightclub, which hasn't had more than like 10 people in it at any time during this cruise. So I already have my new room key. This took about 35 seconds, the whole process. They said you were looking too thin in your picture. They had my passport photo from nine years ago. I got a lot fatter since my passport photo from nine years ago. And uh, we're in the nightclub and they're just setting up. I was like, what is all this stuff? This is all the stuff people order before the cruise to get delivered to their stateroom. They're like, I need a bottle of water for my CPAP machine. I need seven bottles of vodka for my alcoholism uh you know i need some coke i need some mountain dew so this is where they actually set that up and get that all kind of up and running and going and you can even get cookies delivered to your room but i mean the process is pretty much over i, I mean i've got in this i've got my new key and then they're gonna take a photo of all the back-to-back -back people where it says cruise enjoy repeat that's it we don't have to get the boat off the boat we don't have to do anything uh as soon as the voyage rolls over we can pop by guest services get our new uh get our credit card set up and everything it's super stupid simple don't have to get off the boat back to back in seattle two thumbs up awesome uh, i got some really cool videos that are going to come up after everyone else is off the boat but for now this is richard from no pants profit showing that it's literally that easy to go back to back out of the port of Seattle, you don't even have to get off in the port and, you know, they, they have one more champagne. I, I might as, I might as well. Cheers to the second cruise in Alaska on the Carnival Luminosa. And remember, when you wear no pants, you've only got one thing left to lose. I think, <laughs> I think y'all know what that is. It's your shirt. <laughs> Have a great one. Bye.